Hey guys, so uh, we're back on the grind. Uh, took a little bit of a break there. Uh, life can certainly get chaotic and so decided to take a little bit of a step back from putting out videos. Uh, just trying to juggle a full-time job, uh, reselling, and uh, number one family. Uh, so anyway, spring is upon us. Uh, the warm season hopefully is finally here. And so we are. I'm off to my first community yard sale in quite some time. Camden's going to another one in a different city. Uh, so we are looking much forward to this season. It's probably our favorite way to source is from uh, yard sales, particularly community yard sales where we can be much more efficient. So if you haven't watched this channel before, we're a family of resellers that source things from flea markets, yard sales, estate sales, uh, Amazon return stores, or anywhere that we can really buy something low and flip it online uh, for a profit. So if you do like content like this, we'd certainly be blessed if you would hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, and anyway, hopefully we found some good things today. So definitely stay tuned and uh, we'll kind of show you how we do throughout the day and our grand total and haul at the end. So stay tuned. I really got him fired up, don't I? <laughs> How much is uh, your dinosaur? This dinosaur? How yeah. How much? Um, so. uh, okay, sweet. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yes. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay. And the blade is like fifteen dollars. Okay. But it works fine if you buy a blade. Okay. There's double. When you don't put, you know, we don't screw the thing on, right? Right, right. Yeah. So Just goes. We, did, we bought blades twice for it. Yeah. And then I said, I'm tired of people not screwing the stuff on, right? So the end. You just chunk it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'll do it. I'll I'll pay for it. Okay. I mean, two dollars. No, thank you. you. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. But otherwise, it's perfect. Okay. Cool. Awesome, thank you. Hey, are these uh, two a piece? Yeah. Okay, cool. I've got a five. Okay. Ready? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's so crazy busy. I think it's the first warm season. Actually, yeah. you just owe me oh. one. Oh. I bought two pairs. Oh, oh yeah, yes. yep, yep, Thank yep, you. yep, <laughs> yep, no problem at all. So just got out of that community yard sale. There, was, I didn't do a ton of filming in there. It was so overwhelming and so many people. There was, um, I think I went to around 44 yard sales somewhere in that vicinity. So uh, needless to say, it was nonstop. So I think I've got some pretty good finds that I'll show you later. So now I'm gonna head to a uh, an estate sale. Uh, it's a little bit lighter, it's 10, 14 a.m. So we'll see if there's anything there that's reasonably priced that we can possibly do. So I'll show you how we do there as well. So as you can see behind me, there's still a line to get in. Um, so this place has been open for quite a while, but man, look at this view. I don't know, the camera doesn't do it justice, but it's just a beautiful view of Lake Norman. Uh, so two nice neighborhoods that I've been in today, so we'll see how we do in here. Hey, 
Alrighty, so we're back at our warehouse. It's actually the next day, uh, warehouse being our basement. And so I'm gonna show you some of the awesome things that we found today, really good day. Like I said earlier, it's yard sale season. So we're super pumped for that uh, going forward because uh, it's we enjoy it just so much more than probably going to like the Amazon bin stores, which is fun, but um, yard, sale, it, yard sales are definitely uh, probably our best um, source or maybe our most fun source I would say especially if they're community yard sales but before I do that I'm going to show you just to give you some perspective on why we buy so much and we just recently hit a huge milestone for us uh, between Camden and I um, we just so we just hit the uh, over a $50,000 mark for the last 90 days which is huge when we started this as a hobby I didn't even know that that was like remotely even a possibility. Honestly, I didn't think about it. We were just selling stuff. And then as time has gone by, that number has just continued to build. And I don't say that whatsoever uh, to come across in a bragging fashion. I just want people who, uh, the few people who maybe watch this uh, to know that you can do this uh, as well. And um, it, you know, it really just requires starting and uh, just getting a little bit of experience and finding what you enjoy and sticking with it so we're definitely um, pumped about that and I'll try to post that on the screen uh, so you can see I think we might be at like 51,000 all in uh, for the last 90 days so again that is definitely not our profit so you know you still have to factor in uh, the cost of goods in some cases shipping if it's not included uh, in the sale um, you know the time investment that goes into it gas uh, and fuel things of that nature but um, we're su we feel super blessed uh, to be able to hit that milestone. And uh, I'm hoping that you guys, uh, if you're watching and you wanna do this for yourself, that, that you know that it's very possible. Uh, it is not a passive investment whatsoever. So uh, definitely don't think that this is a set it and forget it business model because it's not. It takes a lot of work, uh, it takes time. Uh, but hopefully the end result is worth it. So anyway, I'm going to show you a, uh, kind of a, a little bit about what we're about to ship out. Not really as much. Uh, I'm going to show you maybe like six or seven things that we haven't packed and then what we've packed just to give you an idea of why we source the way that we do. So you don't think that we just buy this randomness and it builds up because it moves and we have to be able to replenish it. So, um, Here's, here's a, a, a little bit of what this looks like just for our Friday, Saturday sales uh, alone. So these are some of the things that I've already packed. And you, so as you can see, there might be 16, 17 things. And these are our, our Friday and Saturday sales. So um, I've got these ready to go for tomorrow. So we do have a, a little bit of a head start. Um, I still have seven things that sold on Friday and Saturday uh, that we haven't packed. So why, why those are still out in the open, I'll show you what those uh, are as well. So this is gonna go out tomorrow, it's a brother. Uh, anytime you see these little fax machine phone things, it, as old as they look, they still do really well. Uh, this is just sold for 70 bucks. Uh, so we'll get that packaged up. These are some Justin boots. I think I found these at Goodwill for like 15 bucks, which is really paying up, but for Justin boots, it's probably pretty good. I can't remember exactly what these sold for, maybe like $70 or so. Uh, this is an old uh, Ford radio, uh, OEM original. Um, so this just sold for $80 and I don't remember what we paid for that, but I imagine it probably wasn't much more than like five bucks. And then this, we bought it at Amazon return store, probably not the best buy, but it did sell relatively fast, but this is like an automatic pet feeder, $35 free shipping. So it'll probably cost like 10, 12 bucks to ship this out. Uh, so not too bad. I'll uh, we'll probably paid $7 and 49 cents for this. So we'll get this packaged up. Uh, low margins, but quick sell, so we'll take it. The next thing's going out, and I don't know if you follow us on Instagram or not, but if you do, you probably saw me post this. We've recently ran into five ping bags at three different places, and on average of those five bags, we pay $20 a piece. These two just sold for right around 100 a piece, uh, and the, plus the buyer paying shipping. So we're gonna get these packaged up. This one is so sweet. Uh, and they're both really, really cool, but this black one is super slick, so uh, excited about getting these to their new home. And then the Kenmore Whisper, uh, this just sold for $120 plus the buy buyer paying shipping. We actually found this um, at one spot, and we found this, which is a different color at another spot. 
and uh, put them together. They're the same model but just different colors. They sell better together as a unit versus just trying to sell uh, the canister piece alone. So uh, I imagine we probably have like 15, 20 bucks put into this. Uh, just sold for $120. So just gives you an idea of some of the things that we ship out and uh, why we have to source like we do to continue to get inventory in so we can continue to push it out. So here's some of our finds from the uh, the 44, 45 family yard sale that I went to at the very beginning. So I got this Toshiba laptop. Um, I really probably wasn't even going to buy this, um, but I was looking at it and the gentleman said, you can have that for a dollar. So I'm like, okay, I'll take it for a dollar. Uh, this uh, I may not even test it. I may just list it as parts only and for like 30, 35 bucks uh, if we don't have the cord and just move on. Uh, it could be worth more. Um, so I'll just have to kind of evaluate that. One of my best finds of the day is this tankless electric water heater. I believe it is new. The lady told me it was new, so I do trust her and I opened the box briefly and it does look like new. I paid $50 for this, but I really think this thing will sell for $200 to $300, just depending. Uh, I still need to research it a bit, but I was super stoked to find that. So I did <coughs> pay up a bit, but um, I think it's gonna sell relatively quickly uh, because the sell through on these was really good online. Also, this is another one of my really good finds from those yard sales is this Smart Nora. It's some kind of like anti-snoring thing that goes on your pillow and I believe it like moves your pillow around if you um, start to make noises, I suppose. I paid $20 for this and the sell through on this was also amazing. There's like seven listings or something like that and maybe a couple hundred sales uh, and this will probably sell for maybe in that 120 to 140 range, somewhere in that vicinity. Uh, so really good find there. And then I saw some lacrosse items and I was really buying these uh, for my son Perry who may decide to play lacrosse in the next year or so. Uh, but I knew right off the bat, these Maverick gloves are good. And so these ended up being too big for him. So we will uh, resell these, but these Maverick gloves on the low end will sell for 50 bucks. Uh, and on the high end, probably closer to 100 because these things are so expensive, brand new. Um, maybe three times the amount that I just told you there if these were brand new. Uh, so we will sell these. And I paid $20 for a whole lot of lacrosse items. And uh, I, Perry's going to keep some of the padding, which I don't even have out here. And also I ended up with this rib protector in that lot. I uh, probably thought it was for lacrosse, but this is really for football. So I don't know what this will sell for. There's a major market for it. I mean, I know that um, Shoot or Shut is a good brand. Uh, so, you know, maybe 15, 20 bucks. Um, so this will probably pay for the lot. And then these obviously will do really well. Next up is going to be the shoe category. And I'll rapid fire through these. I think I am paid $20 for every single one of these pairs that you see here. Um, and none of these are going to be super awe-inspiring, but they're they're all pretty decent base hits. So I found these New Balances for five bucks, and um, so I think these will probably sell for like thirty-five dollars uh, or somewhere in that range. So nothing great, but pretty decent. And I think they'll sell relatively quickly. These will sell really fast. These are Merrill. Uh, these are called Trail Gloves. These are the Trail Glove fours. I think the fives are out now, but the sell-through on these, even the fours, is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I paid three dollars for these. These are Brooks Ghost 12s. I think the 14s are what's out now, but these were just in too good a shape to pass up. Paid $5. So uh, Brooks, they do pretty good, but with these being a couple years out of date, I'm probably looking at like $30, $40 for those as well. I found these Hunter boots. I just know that Hunter's a really good brand. I have not comped these. These are for kids. So we'll see how those do. And then I couldn't pass these Crocs up because they were $2 a piece and they are so mint. They did get some grass in them from the Ikea bag that I had them in, but you can see that these things are in just super good shape. So, you know, even if we get like 20, $25 a piece off of these, um, I will be happy with that. So um, not the greatest shoe lot, but certainly for 20 bucks, we'll take that all day long. So next up from our yard selling in that uh, big neighborhood yard sale, I bought this water filtration system and I just took a flyer because it's $10 and we have sold some really expensive water filtration things over the 
the years um and so i wasn't 100 percent sure i think this thing all in would sell for around 100 bucks after doing a little bit of research we may see if it's you can part it out i had no clue this thing weighs like 50 pounds all in because this was filled with water uh, I don't know if this has water in it or not, but I weighed it whenever I got home because I parked like 300 yards away from this yard sale and by the time I got to the car, I was like struggling so bad uh, lugging those 50 pounds for that, that far. So anyway, um, 10 bucks for this water filtration system. Uh, you can just stack that into the weird things that we buy category. Uh, next up is this Cuisinart. Um, this is $2 and of course. Uh, it needs a blade she was like you can have it and i still paid her two dollars anyway uh because we can part this out and i think in some form or fashion we can squeeze 60 bucks out of this uh the blade is only 12 dollars, so we could consider buying it and then selling it all together but this uh piece will probably sell for like 20 30 bucks and then you know probably 25 30 bucks for the motor uh assuming it works after we test it so for two dollars i probably wouldn't have bought it honestly uh if it wasn't at a yard sale because at goodwill they would have had this thing for like ridiculously priced uh, i bought this dinosaur for a dollar um and so really i just took a flyer it's imagine x this is probably honestly not worth selling if we did sell it it would probably sell for like 15 20 bucks uh, and so but anything anytime something's only a dollar at a yard sale you can definitely it's definitely worth taking chances I, you win more than you lose and the cool thing is I get to play with the dogs and they absolutely hate this guy but it's hilarious to watch no and then I bought these two uh, what these we call these come alongs but I guess they're called power pulls from the actual company these were listed at fit uh, she had uh, $15 on each of these and so I asked if I bought both of them which she cut me a deal and so she told me both of these for 25 uh, I think that so basically I'm $12.50 into each of these I think we can probably sell these for about 50 bucks a piece uh, so we'll get those uh, listed up as well yeah so after that uh, yard sale I headed over to an estate sale and these are really the only uh, things that I picked up I met a couple other uh, youtubers that have been reselling a while but they just started a youtube channel so definitely check them out super nice guys i've watched a couple of their videos already and they're really good at what they do uh, but their channel is called flip and then the letter n and thrift uh, so definitely check those guys out it was very nice meeting uh, you two if you guys happen to be watching uh, and i think they they were there 45 minutes before me i think they sell a lot of the same things that that we do so uh, i think that they did really well uh, I didn't do quite as well. The first thing I'm trying to do whenever I go anywhere is pay for my gas money, right? <laughs> just find a small item that I can flip just to pay for my time to be there. So this really was, this was all sealed. This is not the greatest, but this will probably sell for like 25, 30 bucks. Uh, and so um, we'll get this listed up uh, as well. And then I found uh, anytime you see wearing, uh, it can be a really good brand. So this is called a wearing tailgater. And I don't know, maybe you're a bodybuilder and you're still trying to follow your regimen while you're out camping i don't know why people buy these but uh some of these were selling for like 50 60 bucks uh so we'll need to test this out and see if it works if it doesn't you know i can still part it out and certainly get my money back there uh probably i'm guessing my best find and i'll tell you why i'm guessing uh this is chicago cut cutlery so this is a, a good brand of knife uh vintage knife to be on the lookout for they all have easily identifiable serial numbers so you can actually sell these um, and i haven't decided what we're going to do with these if we're going to sell them uh, as a set or just part them out because i think you can get like 15 20 bucks at least for each of these if you sell them separately uh, and if we sell this all together uh, you could probably get like 70 80 dollars for this um, plus shipping paid 18 dollars for this so i did pay up a bit uh, but definitely worth it because i think we've got you know 80 to 100 dollars sitting there this is the one that is a head scratcher so sound uh sound shaper 110 this is a good brand uh so this is kind of what come i and anything in that equalizer family a lot of times if it's vintage will do really well this was 12 dollars, but for the life of me i cannot find an ss10 ss uh 110 that looks like this one uh, listed the other ones are the others with this same model are selling for like a hundred 115 bucks uh, but I cannot find one 
that looks like this uh, listed or sold. So I'm going to have to do some research. I really do not think this is a knockoff or fake, but um, I am going to have to figure out what in the world this is and why is the same model not showing online. So uh, again, I don't even know what this will sell for, but it was definitely worth the risk at 12 bucks. And one more item from the yard sales, uh, that the community yard sale. I paid $4 for this Cuisinart electric cookie press. These things sell extremely well, the electric ones. Uh, I think we can probably get $50 out of this, maybe. Uh, so we'll get this listed up as well, but super happy with that find. $4, easy to store, easy to ship. So now I'm gonna get into some of the things that Camden bought, uh, and he had a really good day. He had to pivot though. He went to a yard sale, community yard sale as well, and he, said he didn't even get out of the car, that's how bad it was. So, And you will have that from time to time, as you've probably seen on some of my videos as well, where they can just be total bust in some cases. But uh, nonetheless, he got this at a Goodwill, I believe, for um, $2.99. This is a Babolat. Uh, tennis racket and you're gonna see that the theme uh, majorly continues if you haven't already uh, and it's it's odd how like I showed you those ping bags how they come in just like we haven't bought a ping bag in a long time and then we bought five so he got this for two dollars and ninety nine cents it will need to be re strong but anytime you find Bible Life for two dollars and ninety nine cents you definitely pick it up but what's even crazier is that he went to a, a thrift store in Charlotte called community thrift store and so he paid $50 a piece for each of these, but these are in absolute pristine mint condition. Each one of these, I mean, just beautiful condition for Babylon. And I'm hoping, so we've spent $300 on all of these, and I'm hoping we can get an average of around $150 a piece for each of these. Uh, so even though we paid $300 for these, I think we're gonna come out really well. And as the season gets warmer, uh, these are going to continue to be in higher demand. So again, we will uh, get all these listed up, but super happy with that find. Even though we paid up, I know that these will probably move pretty fast. And, uh, and, and I feel pretty confident that whoever buys these is going to be happy with it. He also went to a new store in Charlotte uh, called Black Fridays. And some of you guys across the country probably already have these. We have not had them in our area. Uh, I believe uh, Daniel, the... Um, Selling Sniper uses, uh, goes to Black Friday where he lives quite a bit. Um, but, uh, so he went to that, they just opened, so uh, everything in there on this day was $5. So he got these uh, mittens that uh, I'm assuming are Gore-Tex. I don't know much about these, so I'll try to find out what these may sell for as well. Got these Kenmore uh, replacement, uh, original manufacturer. Uh, refrigeration filters so these I promise you will sell so fast I don't know what the this particular ones go for but I'll try to flash that on the screen but normally the sell through on these type things is just phenomenal because we can sell them for cheaper than what you would buy them for at uh, a retail store I also got this I don't know if this is looks like a pre-workout uh, beyond raw lit uh, workout deal and then he got this um, Beverly International um, ultimate, ultimate muscle protein. So we really do well with these protein powders. They do not sit on the shelves long at all. Um, so five dollars for that. Also got this um, ping pong paddle, uh, Tiga Pro Carbon. I have not comped this yet at all, but I imagine it's going to do pretty well. Uh, and then he also got this at Value Village. Logitech's a good brand to be on the lookout for if it's used and reasonably priced. He paid $5.10 for this. So unless this Ergo M575 was like half price, which Value Village does from time to time, or 75% off, then uh, $5.10 is what he paid for that. He also got this um, Dermaflash for $15.90. So we'll have to see how that does as well. So next up on Camden's Sourcing Saturday, he got these two Panasonic phones. And he also bought this uh, Kodak carousel. He bought all three of these things uh, for $26, even though they're uh, two of these are unrelated. Uh, these will probably sell for around 40 bucks a piece. These are Panasonic phones. So good find there. And these Kodak carousels will probably sell in that $70 to $80 range. Uh, so good find for certainly for 26 bucks. Uh, we're gonna do pretty well with that. I also found this Z Cool uh, football pads. And so I don't know exactly what these sell for, uh, but we will do some research and I'll also try to remember what he paid for that. But I don't think it was a ton. 
and then he paid $4 uh, for this uh, Xbox guitar, which actually is crazy as bad as this looks. It still sells really well, uh, even in this condition, maybe like 50, 60 bucks. Uh, so we'll get that uh, listed up as well. So this is the last batch of items I'm going to show you from Camden's haul yesterday. He bought some other items as well. I may have bought some other items as well. I'm not 100% sure, but just for time purposes, uh, I'm going to just recap these and we'll probably call this the end. But he got this VCR for $5.99. It's a Sony, so uh, we'll have to test it out, make sure it works. But this is just a bread and butter item, probably $30, $40. Uh, and then uh, this, I don't know that we've ever bought this. Uh, we've bought stuff in this family before but this is uh, Hank's craft he paid eight dollars and ten cents for this it looks like at Value Village um, so I'll have to comp that out and see how it does um, I imagine it does pretty well or he likely wouldn't have bought it for eight dollars and ten cents but it does look like it's you know kind of in that vintage family and completely unrelated to that he bought this Canon sure shot max and in true Value Village fashion they put a price of $4.14 on that. So if this works, uh, these uh, 35 millimeter cameras do really well and this will probably sell extremely fast. And so I'll try to flash some comps on the screen. And then these are Burton snowboard boots. So he paid $30 for these and I don't know, the person just went snowboarding and said, this isn't for me, but these things are such good condition. Uh, so we will definitely sell these fast, I think. Um, because I'm not sure they've hardly even been worn. Burton's a great brand to be on the lookout for. Uh, and if you've seen this channel before, you know that we've sold these probably three or four times in the past, just over the last probably six, seven months. And then uh, good old trusty vacuum cleaners. This is a Kenmore uh, 600 series. I think most of the ones we sell are the Whisper series, uh, but this thing is scuffed all to pieces, but I still think it's probably gonna command uh, you know, 80 to a hundred dollars, even in the shape that it's in, as long as it works. And if not, uh, he paid $25 for this. These, this nozzle and these pieces just sell so well. Uh, and this is easy to ship, believe it or not, because it's so compact. So all in all, we just had such a great day yesterday sourcing items. So I know these items are going to do extremely well and just super grateful to be able to find those things, uh, out there in the, uh, in the open market. One other item, I actually lied. <laughs> there is one other item I'm gonna show you. Is this Top Flight Golf Set? Uh, I think Cam got this at a flea market yesterday. And as you can see, it was a return to item originally. It says broken component, $265.24. So I'm assuming that was probably the original retail value. As you can see, I mean, these golf clubs are just barely used at all. Uh, really good shape. So I think we're going to do pretty well with this. Top Flight is so hard to comp because the basically every single club says Top Flight. Uh, so we will have to kind of do some uh, searches to see if we can find something like this. But I did want to show you that. I can't remember what he paid for it, but I think we're going to do pretty well with this set uh, overall. And I'll try to flash on the screen what he actually paid for this uh, bag and Top Flight set.